Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to search a KB on the remote computer by the PowerShell script. So the script is in front of you. It is very simple. Here we are giving the text file. Here we have used the KB number as a variable. So whenever we run the script, we get an option to enter the KB number manually. Here we have used the command computers, uh, then pipe for each object and then the command what we are going to use on the remote computer so what we are doing here so we are using the if condition and then here we are writing the script get hot pixel id but here if you see we have used the exclamation mark it means if the condition doesn't meet then okay so what is the condition get hot pixel id and the computer name error action silently continue we have used this command so uh, if that kb doesn't found on the remote computer you won't see the error machine okay so uh, this condition, if this condition doesn't meet, means if uh, this command do not find the KB on the remote computer, then it will add uh, that remote computer name on this text file. So we are using the text file as a static plus dynamic content. So whatever the KB number you will insert, it will be automatically inserted in the in, uh, text file name. So whenever you run this file. So we are using here add hyphen content, uh, then the server name. Uh, and server name to be added to the path and this is the path that we are giving you can change it according to your need if I run this script it will ask me to enter the KB number enter the KB number okay it must be KB okay let me stop clear run it again okay so I'll use this one So we have a two computer here server one two three and the four I had given let me show you the server file all server so these two three computers are live these two computer are dead uh, I kept this dead computer because I just want to show you how we treat the power of computer in the later script okay and now it is trying to search that KB on all these five remote computer This RPC server is unavailable, it means it is now connected to 3 and the 4 computer. So, 2 times it will give the problem. And you will see the file name uh, it generated with the KB number that we searched here. Okay. Now, this KB is only available on the DC computer, it means server 1 and server 2 name will be there. Okay, you got it. Now we can see here the KB that we search is not available here and that is the reason this two computers name are there. But now what about the power of computer? If we want to generate a complete result with the power on and the power of machine then what is the script we have? So we have another script here. Let me delete this file. So which is more specific to the result. Now we'll clear the result and we'll go to the another script. So this script is also the same, but um, we have some more content uh, with more statement. Here the KB number, it, we are getting the option to enter the KB number here again, the computer name that we have. And we are using the for each uh, statement here, uh, server in computer if. So now here we are first testing whether the computer is powered on or powered off. According to that, we are going to run the script. If the computer is powered off, we are not going to run the script here and then we will not get the RPC error on this computer because it is already powered off and we are excluding that computer from this script and which computer is a powered off uh, powered on again we are going to use the if statement so why we are using if here again we are using if whether to uh, that KB is installed on that computer or not according to that we are again creating a two file so uh, suppose we found find that KB is installed on some computer then it will be added here if that KB is not installed on that computer it will be added here and that is the reason we are using right host so uh, why we are we have given this two times because whenever we are running the script it will show us result in uh, this uh, note uh, this uh, section as well as in the notepad file okay so let me run the script again here and this time we'll use uh, some KB from the server one you can see the both KB are same on this server if now I want to find this 137 KB so you can see the result here DC is installed on this computer okay 
so this KB is installed on all three computer and there are two computer which is powered on so let's see here now you can see here only two file is generated the missing KB text file is not generated because there is no live computer where this KB is not installed all the live computer this KB is installed so only one file is generated you can see here it is installed on this computer and then offline computer again we are getting the separate list hey this computer is the powered on or not online or not reachable maybe in the network okay so we'll take uh, any other KB which is only installed on the DC computer but it's not installed on the server 1 and server 2 so this KB is not installed on the server 1 and server 2 but it is only installed on the so now this time for this KB three file will be generated uh, one the KB is installed on the KB is missing on and then third the powered off so powered off we are not generating the new file we are using the same older file you can see here this KB is installed on only DC computer it that KB is installed missing computer server 1 server 2 it is missing on server 1 server 2 and the offline computer it is same so new two extra line is added in this so you can use this script to find a specific KB on the remote computer and uh, if you have any query you can just put into the comment box I'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video